สวัสดีค่ะ and welcome to Morning Thailand with me Golf Girl and I'm f a i t a n a n d a p a t n o y w e n Good morning and welcome to the Morning Edition News here live from the studio of M Court War starting 6 to 7 every day and today is Wednesday June the 26 2013 time flies pretty fast Kun mm-hmm. Gob it seems that we are going to the end of the first quarter of this year already goodness me I haven't thought of that but you know that's true Now, um, Kun Fai, today we have a lot, like, I mean, a lot of mm-hmm. news, and um, As usual. especially for the first break, we have very, rather unusual front page, I mm-hmm. would say. Um, we have seen pictures of bus caught on fire. There is uh, uh, interesting creatures that has been captured, and various type of interesting news, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Just to give you um, an update, uh, finally, the Vietnam's party, Uh, General Secretary is here in Thailand, and mm-hmm. of course, our Prime Minister was just walking uh, with him on the front lines as we celebrate and welcome him. Now, um, this his name is Nguyen Phu Jong, the uh, General Secretary of the Vietnamese uh, po- Communist Party, mm-hmm. um, and he arrived yesterday, and of course, at about seven o'clock. Last night, there has been um, a press conference together with our prime minister. There you go, walking there. Now um, they say that the prime minister has came out and said in a press conference that after meeting together um, with the general secretary of Vietnam, um, they have been talked about working together, hands in hands, both Thai and Vietnamese um, government, to actually work together in trade. Investments, as well as make sure that um, by the year 20, uh, 2020, mm-hmm. um, there would be at least 1.5 billion U.S. dollars investment together. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, trade. they get to talk about the cooperation on mm-hmm. the exporting of rice because yeah. you know Vietnam has already surpassed Thailand as one of the uh, world know. exporting countries. I know. We rice. used to be the top, but mm-hmm. you know they've surpassed us, and of course. Um, there's going to be a talk about the water management as well mm-hmm. to sustainably work together, and of course a nice dinner to follow. So okay. all in this all, this evening, right? Exactly. So okay. all in all, is you know it seems like a good visit. So welcome, um, Win Fu j o n g Okay, moving on to another country this time from South Korea, but no one has been visiting Thailand. Mm. It's a South Korean man who has been staying in Bangkok for just two weeks. He is a Taekwondo teacher, oh. instructor in Thailand okay. for just two weeks. This man, his name is a Yu Ji Won, and yesterday he showed up at the South Korean embassy in Bangkok. Oh. Uh, as you can see in this <laughs> picture, he is trying to climb over the gate. Of the the front gate of the South Korean embassy. So my guess is they didn't open the door for him. He, they <laughs> did. They already did. Okay. He already talked to the embassy staff. Uh, he he staged a protest in order to air his grievances. Oh. After his bag, his wallet, his motorcycle, and his credit card were stolen. That's a lot of stolen items for him. Rescuers and also police uh, have been on the scene and saw that him, a man sitting on top of the front gate, and he was yelling or shouting something in South Korean. Mm-hmm. It seems that he attempted to enter the to re-enter the compound mm-hmm. once again because he already talked to the embassy staff seeking help from them. After oh. all his stuff were stolen, and okay. he got no money, his credit card was stolen, and it seems that it had been used somewhere else. So someone took his credit card and used it, and that's why mm-hmm. I can see why he is upset. It seems like a lot of things happened to him, but right, and he's tried to seek help from someone who can speak South Korean, oh, okay. and they rejected him, saying they cannot help him. With anything, right. so now police are investigating into the matter. Mm-hmm. So that is very upsetting indeed. Mm-hmm. Now um, I see a picture of a burning bus. What is going on with that? Now they say that um, at this point the pictures show at the p a t u m Thani mm-hmm. province. As you can see mm-hmm. in the on the front page of the newspaper, it seems that a a bus. Was caught on fire yesterday. Rescuers rushed to the scene on Pahon Yotin Road. It happened in front of the post office in Klong Luang District of Patong Thani Province. Tell me, everyone is safe. 
everyone is safe, okay. safe and sound. The bus was transporting all staff of the PM Siri Mongkon company from work on their way home from work. And then something unexpected happened, causing the electrical system to break down. Mm. By that time, the driver tried to go to somewhere to fix the bus. However, unfortunately, it was too late. Fire broke out. However, uh, all passengers escaped unharmed. Mm. That is a, a But it lot seems of serious. Fun. It seems very serious, and I'm impressed that everyone actually be able to escape from this particular incident. And I'm pretty sure that the traffic would be a really, really good thing. They were notified beforehand before the fire broke out. Oh, okay, that's mm -hmm. good. Now, um, moving on to another interesting picture, indeed, of a giant stingray. Um. I mean, we have seen stingray before, but not mm -hmm. this size ever. And of course, um, this is um, in Chacheng, South Province. They have caught it and could find the reason this particular stingray which is like mm -hmm. really difficult to find due to the size of it mm -hmm. we call it rahu uh, stingray because mm -hmm. of the size and how dark it is so when it was actually um, just swimming in the water when people see it it looks like it's create a dark cloud over anyone's as you can see the picture there mm -hmm. now this particular stingray is two meter in length 80 centimeter in the width and mm -hmm. um, actually four meters in length, excuse me, and two four meters. Four meters, that yeah. was actually huge. Yeah, and 2.8 meter in width. Mm -hmm. Now this is about 300 kilograms. Oh my God. Yes, very big. Now the reason this particular stingray was caught dead, um, they say that normally around the area in the uh, Bapakong River, mm -hmm. It is a salt water, you know, because it's, it's kind of like on the way to the sea. Mm -hmm. So there's a mixture of a salt water more than just um, regular water. Mm -hmm. Now they say that, of course, due to the fact that this is a salt water creature, um, do, and a lot of raining has been happening in the past few days, they think that it's because the level of salt water was just so badly diluted from the rain mm -hmm. that this particular stingray was in shock. So it could not stay that long in that exactly. Kind of water. It was floating for a while, mm -hmm. and then finally the fisherman just went out and then just kind of like dragged. Oh, it so back it's already in. dead. Yes, and this is um, a female mm -hmm. stingray, giant stingray. So if you're wondering what that is, try to look at it because at first I was wondering too because I didn't. Like you can't really make out like what does it look like really, mm -hmm. but then when you realize that it's stingray, then you kind of you know be able to see it. Sometimes this kind of creature, the rahu <coughs> thingy, mm -hmm. uh, often relates to bad luck. Yeah, according that's true. to Thai superstition. Mm -hmm. So like not that. sure like what's going on, but you know mm -hmm. that's the reason a lot of heavy rain creating a lot of problem, not just flooding, obviously. Now, mm -hmm. another news, uh, we don't have a picture. However, I thought that, you know, due to the fact that this particular case is very interesting, and I think a lot of foreigners do not realize the impact of durian. I mean, I know a lot of you think that, you know, it's probably really stink, uh -huh. and it's got a really strong smell. You gotta have, it's one of those acquired tastes. You know, right. you either like it or you hate it. We exactly. Love it. We loved it. <laughs> we loved it. Yes, we love it a lot. But however, um, this particular case is very, very sad mm -hmm. because please make sure that you don't combine durian with alcohol. Because um, I'm not sure why, but in, in Thai culture, in Thai customs, um, is actually traditionally known or culturally known at this point that durian tends to increase the heat in your Inside body. Inside your body, right. right? Um, I'm not sure why, but that's what they said. And when you combine that with alcohol, mm -hmm. it creates a lot of heat inside the burning. And also the blood pressure. Exactly. So this particular case, um, Kun Jantra Fusakun, age 47, mm -hmm. um, she accidentally mixed the two together. And of course, she was drinking um, one of those, what we call lao kao, or the clear um, liquor, mm -hmm. which is really strong 
alcohol content um, is the traditional Thai drinks here. And to combine the two together, they, uh, the neighbor believed that she probably had a that. Yeah, a, a, a durian. Exactly, as they, because they found... Um, as a side dishes with alcohol? Yeah. The two things doesn't I know, go well but, together. You know, that's the thing, like, that's why I think this particular case is very important because you need to be able to understand that you, you cannot mix the two together. Mm -hmm. And I think she, she kind of mixed it together and finally um, the neighbor found her dead at her house and they believe that due to the fact that um, she probably had a lot of durian, including the alcohol, so that create a lot of heat and she might have um, passed away due to heart attack or you know, stroke and such. So um, just a, a case for you to, you know, try Keep in mind. Exactly. Just Because just durians really are not cautious. that kind of fruits that you can eat as much as you like. Mm -hmm, exactly, and especially not with alcohol. So don't mm -hmm. mix the two together. And um, I think that... We should go a short break. Mm -hmm, yes. When we come back, we'll take a look at more updates in the scandalous Hmong saga. We have, and you have the haze more information. from Indonesia exactly. finally reached us. Mm -hmm. So be very careful down south there, but that's after the break.